Trust of Arm for OD7. Super easy. We just need... Um, let me, let me just do it on auto-deploy, because there are not a lot of steps to do. We just need the blades and the lapland. If your lapland is lower level than the AD, add the medic. That's all you have to do. Last of your units, um, you can bring whoever you want, and if you want, and if you want to fast clear it as well, just to bring um, like um, a heli drop uh, with a burst skill to spawn kill some enemies. For example, a yatterd skill. Anyways, first of all, immediately blades are here for some bottom side. Then just wait to get enough DP to deploy down Lapland on this position here, for some bottom side. And then just use your reinforcement device to reinforce this one on top left. This one, one of these two. Then this one on the row where Lapland is. And that's good. If you're planning to use, uh, for example, a third skill to spawn kill some enemies, then repair this one as well. Or this one up to you. Anyway, so... You can even just stay okay, to be honest. Now one of my favorite enemy will spawn from a left side, which is called the Mutant Giant Rock Spider. This one. You can see, super long name. Mutant Giant Rock Spider! <laughs> Okay, Laplan will kill these enemies without letting them thumb on Lux. And as you can see, Laplan maximum level can finish, finish the stage with around 400 HP. So if you have a lower level, then just bring a medic or Seria, for example, to heal. Super easy. Next one, OD8, um, Trust of Armor. We just need uh, tex, uh, Blades uh, with the module, Thorns, uh, Yato second skill, uh, Mercy 3, and uh, in the end, Texas. You can substitute the Yato with some other good uh, heli drops, uh, fast deploy, but remember, must have really good damage. Now, first of all, immediately deploy down Texas here for some top side to gain DP. Also, the rest of the slots just to bring your trust of arm units. And during the clear, just deploy them in front of like a blue box uh, on these four positions to prevent that uh, someone leaks. The slug leaking, at least you have the operator to kill, right? Now, Tors immediately here for some top side to charge the skill. After Texas killed the third slug spawning from here, retreat. And then deploy down blades earlier to charge the skill in time for later. Now, the boss will uh, start to use the explosive sk skill. After the explosion and summon the slug, wait the slug to go to Thorns, so Thorns can use the auto attack to charge the skill. Then deploy Texas, I mean Yato here, second skill, to burst the boss. This is just a level 80 Yato without a module, so I can just full let her full into the skill. If you have a maximum level Yato or with the module, so increasing a lot of the damage, just retreat her before she can reduce, uh, before she deals too much damage. Like when the skill bar is um, like 10%, um, just retreat her. So basically, don't let her deal full damage on the boss if he's uh, maximum level with the module. Now activate the Torrance skill one time and then just wait. Because we don't want to kill, I mean, we don't want to make the boss go to the second phase manually, so dealing 40% damage, but waiting 100 seconds. The boss will automatically go to the second phase. And just keep going. This boar will spawn, don't worry about it. Now we'll go on bottom side, there's another slug. When this one dies, we'll become three enemies. So they put it down, Tex, I mean Yato here, to uh, emulate that someone leaked, so at least she can help kill. Around now, deploy the first mine here. Retreat the Yato. The boss will go to the second phase. Thorns will be able to use the, to charge the skill in time and kill everyone. 
replace with the skill will um, most of the time kill the slugs spawning from this tile. And then just wait till the second mine. Deploy now the second mine when it's ready, immediately, immediately here. And when the enemy spawn from left side, this one just to kill using Yato. It's on top side. Yato with the skill can kill them really easily and the spawnings as well. This is only level 80, huh? even without the module. A retreat. The boss first phase, second phase will also die. And then deploy Texas here, normal Texas here. Because this one will spawn the slugs, which will go downside. The torso cannot hit. So just uh, use Texas for a moment. Now, after the explosion, the boss uh, immortality will gone, will disappear. So you can just uh, use the mine to one and two. 8,000 true damage in total. Now deploy Yato here to kill this other crab. And then you can retreat. Activate the uh, yeah, Texas skill here. And you can retreat as well. Or if you want, you can keep. Now, you can even give K till the end. If you want to make it uh, faster, just to use your extra units to spawn kill some of some of the enemies. For example, in this run, the last enemy will be a spider here, so you can just deploy text Yato here uh, when that enemy spawns to spawn kill. You can even deploy the last mine here to fast kill one of the crab. Okay, there's two. After this two is the last one spawning from here. So just to do this one. Super fast to clear. And uh, really stable. Now to prove that to prove you that it is a super stable, let me just uh, run uh, auto deploy. There is no RNG inside it. Like none of my operators are RNG. We don't have RNG here. Even the enemy doesn't have RNG. So here just to make sure that if you have a high level Yato retreat before the orange bar finish. A bit uh, area. So you don't make the boss go to the second phase too early. Remember, remember to do that if you have maximum level Yato or with the module, huh? Yato here. Even she didn't hit anyone here, but it's just for like in case, you know, in case that slug leaks from Torrance, at least you will kill. And you will not leak. See? All good. Now, last steps, uh, no even needed to show it because it's just adapt. Huh? To save time, because the enemies are not uh, too hard unlike the boss. So you see, it works. 